Hey y'all, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a tutorial in my review on the Juvia's Place The Warrior Palette. This is such a stunning palette. I've had it for about three weeks now. This is the look that we are going to be doing today and this look was definitely heavily, heavily inspired by just the front of this palette. Look how beautiful it is. So for this video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, two weeks ago, no it wasn't two weeks ago, last weekend, Marilla and I were watching Black Panther and I realized that in the Black Panther the warrior Wakanda woman Den Denaria I I'm not sure how to pronounce her name but you guys know who I'm talking about chocolate skin bald the head warrior Wakanda woman she was wearing these neck rings and I was like wait a second those are very similar to the neck rings that are on the front of the palette so I started doing my little research and googling and I found that the Nabili African tribe women they wore these necklaces so in the beginning of the tutorial while I'm doing my base work I'm going to be sharing a little bit of the information based on these neck rings and the Nabili African tribe I thought it was so cool I love African history so I hope you guys enjoy this video let's get into it so I was watching Black Panther like I was telling you guys and the neck rings I noticed the Wakanda warrior women they had neck rings on I was kind of like wait a second where have I seen that and I remembered that on the front of the Juvia's Place palette the women up there they had on the neck rings so then of course you know I got curious and I started doing a little research and found out that these neck rings were worn by a South African tribe called the Nabili tribe so basically this is something that the women would wear and the more of the variety of ornaments and jewelry that basically represents their social status now women who were married they would dress more elaborate so they'd have more clothing on they'd have more head wraps more head beads and also the jewelry the jewelry is a big deal so they would wear copper and brass rings they would wear them on their arms legs necks and these are basically symbols of her bond for her husband but I thought the cool thing was they would only wear this like I said, married women, but they'd only get really elaborate with it once their husbands built them a home, which I thought that was kind of cool. So I was like, hey, build me a home. So this way I can basically wear all of these jewelry, all of these beautiful copper pieces to show how faithful and how down I am for you. So I thought that was kind of cool. Also, the richer the husband, the more rings the wives would wear. And I guess before they would wear these rings like constantly non-stop and they would only be removed once they passed away but now it's not like that anymore also married women they would wear neck hoops made of grass but these neck, ho neck hoops would only be worn during special ceremonies and some of them would have just like different arrangements of beads and whatnot on them so I thought that was super, super interesting. I hope you guys found it interesting as well. You learned something new. I love learning new things, especially African history, because it's just so bomb. So let's go ahead and get into the eye tutorial. Hi. Hi. Bye. Bye. You look good, by the way. Thanks. Like an African goddess. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy that Indibili history. I'm obsessed with African history. I think it's just so awesome and rich. So I already have on my brows and the eye look. So let's go ahead and we'll zoom you in so we can get into the eye. First thing I'm going to do is prime my eye. I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Caffeine. So we're gonna go in with our first shade Cano, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, probably not, but this shade here is gonna go right into the crease. It's gonna be our transition shade. And in my crease, it doesn't really, it's very faint in the crease. Whenever I pack it all over the lid, it looks really good, but as far as transition, it's just enough to warm it up a little bit. Of course, if you are lighter, it might pop off a little bit more on you. Then we're gonna go in with I OC. This shade here is the lightest shade in the palette and it's like a beigey undertone. It is a matte. And this is gonna go right on the brow bone. Don't be afraid of it. It looks like it's gonna pop off ashy, but it doesn't. It's the perfect brow bone highlight. 
Then switching over to a very, very tiny detailed brush, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe, what is this, M506. And we're gonna go into the shade Mino, and it's the darkest brown in this shade. And all three shades that I just used, those are the only mattes in this. This is a very, very rich, dark, dark brown shade. And I'm gonna first start it off just right in the crease. And I'm just gonna trace what my natural crease does. Then on the outside here, I wanna make sure my outside's nice and dark. So I am gonna pack on a little bit more color and blend it out. But I don't wanna take it too far out though. And switching over to a 224. Now we're just gonna start pulling the color up a little higher. And I'm also gonna bring this dark shade down to the inner corner. Next, we're gonna go in with the shade Ida here. Right here. We're taking our MAC any flat brush, any flat brush that you like. I'm going to start right in the center. Make sure you tap off with this. And then right in that inner corner too. But don't go over the dark shadow that we placed down. I like how that looks. I've been really pulling my darker shadows down into the inner crease. I don't know, I just think it looks really cool. It gives it a little added dimension. Then we're gonna switch over to the, call, to the color Dahomey. I am definitely butchering these names. I'm so sorry. Tapping off. And we're just gonna put this on the outer for the rest. Now back with the detail brush, we're gonna go back in with Mino here. And we're gonna pull the color down a little bit. And I'm just pressing it onto my eye. And taking a tapered blending brush and just blending that out a touch. And I'm gonna go back in one more time. And then for the under eye waterline here, I'm going to take my MAC Wonder Pencil, not MAC, NYX Wonder Pencil in light. And then going back in with that dark brown shade, I'm gonna use that as my liner in a with a pencil brush. And it's just gonna go right up under. And I've been using just this shade a lot for my eyeliner because I like the tone of it. It's not quite black and it's not a warm brown. It's a rare occasion to find a brown that's not warm or too gray, you know what I mean? And then for the inner tear duct here, we're gonna go in with this middle shade. Now I'm just gonna put on my liner, lashes, and then we will talk about this palette. All right, so now the look is complete. Let's briefly talk about the palette. Just the whole aesthetic of this palette is beautiful. This, this screams African queen, black girl dream. I mean, look at this. This is stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. Love the packaging. And then of course, let's get into what's inside of this. This does not have a mirror. That's okay. You know, pros and cons. That'd probably be a con. But when we look into the palette here, we have three mattes. Let's talk about the mattes. All the mattes work really well for me. This dark chocolatey brown matte is probably my favorite favorite matte shade as far as like a dark brown goes just simply because it's hard for me because sometimes I don't want my brown to be too warm but then on the other side I feel like a lot of the dark browns that come in palettes they're 
almost have that gray undertone that I just it doesn't suit my skin tone this is perfect because it's smack dab in the middle of the spectrum so it's not too warm it's not too gray it's the perfect neutral it goes on easily blends I like a dream no problem and then the rest of the shades here are shimmers these shimmers are stunning I feel like they work great when you wet your brush I feel like they work great when you don't wet your brush the only thing that I will say about the shades all the shades make sure no matter what you're using a matte or a shimmer make sure you tap off because if not you will acquire some fallout I feel like the shimmer shades they are very very shimmery they're not super chunky but like I said if you don't tap off you will get a little, just a touch of fallout so that's something to definitely be aware about now this is what I would consider a very easy neutral everyday palette now I know the look that I have on is not like an everyday look I definitely wanted to go more for of a dramatic look and I pulled my inspiration from just the front of this palette so I have a more dramatic look on but I think the cool thing about this is you can wear it in the daytime you can wear it in the nighttime you can make it very very day appropriate and then if you want to transition it to the night you can totally do so so this is definitely my go-to neutral palette I like it so much I like that I can get I like that it's so I like that it has all of those gold and bronzy shimmer tones that I like especially over the summertime when I can get my gold goddess moment I think it's a bomb palette so definitely head over to Juvia's place check this out it's affordable how much was this was it 26 Six. I can't remember how much it was I'll make sure I'll leave it above for you but this is a very very beautiful palette and you can't go wrong with neutrals now a lot of people are probably saying oh not another neutral palette yes I hear you however me personally for my personal collection I don't have any neutral palettes so I've been on the I've been on the hunt for one so when I saw that they came out with this one I was like yes sold bomb perfect all right guys so that is going to complete this video I hope you enjoyed the little bit of history that I added to along with a tutorial and my personal opinions on the palette down below let me know if you are a fan of Juvia's Place products and if so what's your favorite and also if you plan on testing out this warrior palette all right guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.